Hey, hi, Air Sign. Welcome in. This is uh, November 17th daily. What's going on for you guys? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are looking at, uh, let's see. Oh, a couple of announcements here. The Sunday Night Tarot Salon is not going to happen again until January. We're going to stop doing it now that Thanksgiving week is here. So the holidays are here. So we're going to suspend that likely until um, January. Just saw the death card transformation. Um, also, I have a few scholarships to offer for the Atlanta retreat. If you can get yourself there and have a place to stay. I have these scholarships available. So please reach out to me, Soulful Revolution TV at Gmail, and uh, give me a sense of your situation and why you want to come. And we will be selecting, could be as many as five, but definitely three folks uh, to come. And I want to do it so plane tickets and, and situations can be, you know, figured out. Okay? So I'm um, going to figure that out this weekend. Whew! So send me an email. If you want to come, send me an email. Okay, guys? So let's see what's going on here. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Air sign. Five of Pentacles. Oh, dear. Feeling out in the cold, are we? Queen of Swords. Okay. Um... Queen of Swords, King of Wands. <laughs> what? You have a fire sign? Huh, you have a fire sign. Oh dear, okay, there's lots going on here. Let's see what's happening. Okay, and an earth sign. Air sign, fire signs, earth signs. Everywhere. Crazy. All right, so let's see here. Overarching energy of this read. I'm very curious to see what this card will be here. Page Pentacles. All about your own self worth and self value. All about seeing this. Um, hmm. Self worth, self value. Somebody here is tracking money as their money is their worth and value. Could be the earth sign here. I feel like air sign, you might have some fire in your chart, okay? You also have this image in your mind of the person you want to attract, and that's the king of wands. The person who is uh, likely on your path here, though, is probably an earth sign, and there's decisions need to be made. And it will be made based on, wow, this is a lot, based on um, new revelations, New revelations coming to this person. Okay, so let's just let's get this out here. So, King, uh, Queen of Swords, King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. For those of you who are single, okay, you're manifesting because I did get. Um, I want to pull this out here. Three of Wands on the bottom here, manifesting what it is you want in a mate. King of Wands seen as the perfect mate here. I feel like you could have an earth sign with some king of swords. Okay. Could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, uh, somebody who is also, uh, needs to make a decision. Okay. They're, they could be the ones out in the cold. There's a situation where maybe the two of you are out in the cold. A decision needs to be made. Okay. Three of wands. Um, you are manifesting this. This other person has been sort of blocking their heart, waiting around, not doing anything, feel very trapped in a situation, okay? They are in a, a relationship, in a committed relationship that has money as its foundation, okay? And they feel trapped. They feel like there's nothing they can do, but they are going to be channeling the King of Swords. King of Swords is no joke, let me just tell you. King of Swords can do whatever the hell he wants. All right, and now there's some awakening. There's an awakening for both of you. There's an awareness of what's going on with this person. If you're trying to manifest, if you are, there's something here about this King of Wands. We'll get some more. Um, there could be two. You could be manifesting. You're a good manifester. <laughs> you could be manifesting two different partners here, a, a, a fire sign and um, an earth sign here. Either way, you're going to have to make a decision about this, King of Swords. You have to make a decision, okay? You're the one manifesting so hard that you're attracting all these people. So it's likely that 
if you have a fire sign showing up, there's also an earth sign here who has been waiting. They could be trapped in a situation, trapped under something heavy and can't answer the phone. Something like that. So awakening, there is some loss here, some regret over waiting so long because this other person shows up for you. Okay, they could be, um, this is what it looks like. See how the, the hermit is looking at that five of cups. They could, if you've been manifesting, you've been connected with this earth sign and this awesome fire sign shows up and then there's some like, ugh, there's some regret here. Um, let me see here. What's that about? Ace of Cups, brand new opportunity. King of Wands. King of Wands, who are you? Three of Cups. Third party. Temperance. Wow. Eight of Wands. So there is communication. Wow. So, okay, so for some of you, wow, for some of you, you see this Sag energy. They're really acting as an earth sign. That's a small portion of you. Okay. For some of you, there's two different people. Okay. There's two different people and there's some clarity around the correct decision for you. When, when you get, you know, when you get this awakening, this person could have been too slow. This earth, earth sign could have been too slow and too focused on money. They didn't move fast enough. And all of a sudden there's this King of Wands here. Okay. And that makes this as a third party, even though you're single air sign, even though you're single here or confident or whatever. I mean, but it feels like you're, that's a single card. Okay. That's, you're the one that's making the decision. So now there's three. Okay. And the universe is bringing this clearly bringing this to you manifesting like a crazy and Eight of, eight of Wands, there needs to be some communication here. And as the Queen of Swords here, my darling, you are eminently qualified to communicate very well. Um, you could be channeling this King of Wands and wanting to take action. This other person is not taking action. Um, and, they're, and they are in a committed relationship, so that's the third party, right? You're wanting to take action. They're not doing it. Either way, there's some new revelations, <laughs> some biblical, biblical illusion today, dealing with the justice card, I'm sorry, judgment card. And there's going to be some loss. Someone is going to lose. Um, you got Ace of Cups here. This is a choice being offered to you. You're really going to have to go deep and think about this. I feel like this Virgo person, you betcha, there's more than one person. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. It's like, <laughs> who do you love, right? Who do you love? Who do you want to be your life partner? If a twin flame comes forward that's married, that's never getting out of their marriage, then you might have an opportunity to have a a situation where you have a relationship with a twin flame, but you also have a life partner that is a soulmate. Those are co very complicated situations. Okay. There is a third party here. Either you have two people that are coming to you to be with you, or this person that has taken so long is in a third party. They're going to have to break the heart of the other person in order to come to you. Ace of cups. Okay. Because they do love you. No question. Okay. Um, they've just taken a really long time, but now they know what they need to do. There's going to be some loss here. Somebody is going to lose. Okay. And the universe is bringing together those that need to be brought together. Who do you love? Queen of swords, queen of cups, nine of pentacles, you really are eminently qualified right now to make this decision. This other person who's taken a long time, you know exactly who it is. You might be manifesting so strong you're bringing in another person. Okay? 
there's a big choice here. All right, we're doing extended read. Um, the link is below for you. And don't forget, if you want to take part in the retreat in um, Atlanta, and I, like I said, I've got a couple scholarships, send me a note, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you on the other side.